This is Mr. Oman here. We are going to be working on um, an introduction to Revit project where we're going to build and draw up a tool shed. It looks like, like this on your directions. Um, the next one is going to be a garage. Okay, using these requirements right here. And finally, we're going to make a cabin at the very end using this floor plan to produce this cabin right there. Okay, so three projects to get you up to speed on on Revit. Okay, the first thing I need you to do though is to go to my architecture folder and download the Revit two-story template file. Okay, so double click on that, hit download, and in a moment you should see it coming and you can save it. I'll save it on my desktop or in your downloads folder is fine. Here it comes. I need you guys to open this file right there in Revit. Okay, and if you haven't opened up Revit already, please do that. So at this point I now have uh, the Revit two-story template file opened up. I can tell I have the template open up because I can see all these different uh, views that are set up. These are things I've made for you. Um, anything from the floor plan first floor, floor plan second floor, you'll need those. Several of these you won't need for this project. Um, ceiling plans you won't need, so I'll close that one. 3D views we'll need, elevations we'll need. Eventually we'll get into sheets when we get into printing, but I'll, I'll close that up for now. Okay, so the only thing I really need you to have open is the floor plans uh, at this time. All right, um, let's see, let's go back to our requirements. And let's start out by drawing a tool shed. Okay, the information here says the walls measure 8 feet by 10 feet, so we'll draw a rectangle with our wall command. Uh, we'll add a shed style roof, a door, a floor, and a ground surface. Okay, notice these are all worth a one point uh, to you, kind of a checklist. Okay, I'm going to switch to floor plan first floor to draw this. Okay, here's my wall command. Looking down from a bird's eye view, I'm going to type in 8 apostrophe, meaning 8 feet. I'm going to go 10 feet down. Okay, so as I aim the wall, Revit is waiting for an input like typing. At this point, I've already done 8 feet. I can just line it up over there. I don't need to type it again. And I'll close it back off using that alignment tool right there. Okay, and I'll hit escape to end it. Okay, so at this moment we should have an 8 feet by 10 foot wall. Okay, and if you miss, you can always correct it and it'll move it over for you. Okay, 8 feet by 9, 6. Let's make that 10 feet. Right there, so that's truly 8 by 10. All right, the next thing, um, let's switch out of this. I'm going to hit this middle restore button. Okay, I'm going to go back to 3D over here. And in fact, I'm going to hit view and I'm going to hit tile to put both of these side by side. So now I'm looking at 2D and 3D all at the same time. Okay, I'd like to draw a roof next under the architecture tab. Here's roof. I want to, which level do I want to put it in? Um, let's put it up in the second floor. Alright, so we're going to draw the roof here. Um, I'm going to start by clicking on this wall. And you'll see the, the pink boundary line show up. And it will be offset and overhanging off the side of your house. If you hit the check mark, it'll finish it for you. Okay, and you see in 3D over here that you've got a roof. Okay, now you'll notice that there's a space between the walls and the roof. Okay, if you want to attach those, it's pretty simple. You just click on one of your walls, click on attach top to base and click on the roof so it attaches those two pieces together. So I'll repeat the same over here. And I'll spin it around. All right, at this point we have our, our shed with a, a roof on it. Now if you go back to the requirements, you'll notice that, that the requirements have us um, doing a shed style roof. 
So we have to change the way this, this roof looks so it only slopes on one side, not all four, okay, like it's currently showing. Okay, so we're going to edit that roof. Okay, so you do that by selecting the roof so it turns blue. Edit its footprint, that's the original pink shape. Okay, if you click on um, one of the, the boundaries, this checkbox um, shows up on your screen. You can uncheck that. Okay, and those triangles right there, they refer to slope coming to that side. So I'm going to continue and I'm going to uncheck three out of these four sides so that it only slopes in one way. And this is a little steep, so I think I'll edit this a little further by grabbing the grips that are given right there. So I'll let you choose how much slope you want. That's probably pretty good for a, for a tool shed right there. Okay, and now that that's done, we'll finally put a door on it. Okay, and right now I don't have the correct door selected, so I'm going to go into my properties menu. We'll just put a just a basic 30 inch by 80 inch, just basic door right here. Okay, go ahead and place that on on the side of the the shed that has the tallest roof, tallest wall, excuse me. Okay. All right. The last couple of things we need are flooring underneath, so we'll draw that. And we'll draw that in two-dimensional floor plan view. So here's the floor command under the architecture tab. Okay, and I'll just use the rectangle tool to draw this thing. And the check mark. Okay, and if that doesn't end up in the right level, like you can see here, you can easily change its level. Right now it's down in the basement, so let's bring it up to first floor. Okay, and you hit apply. And there it is. All right. So, all right, the last thing we need to do is, is put some siding and some roofing on this thing so it looks a little more realistic than just this gray building. Okay, if you head over to the Modify tab, there's a command right here. It looks like a, a soccer ball, a checkered soccer ball. It's called Paint. Click on that for me. And if you scroll down, you'll find some all different paints and colors siding material, so more than just paint. There's, there's all all items here. Uh, actually, we need to do roofing as well, so let me hit roofing because I see it there. I'll place that on the roof. Okay. Okay, I'm looking for siding yet. Here's some siding. Uh, I'll let you pick which siding you want. I'll just do some basic. Oh, let's do oh, cedar siding shakes right there. Those will be kind of cool looking. A little more fancy than a tool shed will need to be, but that's okay. So I'm hitting the edge of the floor and the side of the walls. Alright, so it looks realistic. Alright, I believe it is done. Alright, so now that we've finished up the shed, project. We're going to scroll down, double check to see if you have all your requirements checked off. Um, walls, doors, roof, floor, ground, and siding. It looks like I, I missed one here. We need to put the ground in yet. So let's add that before we move on. Okay, to simply put a, a ground surface in, you go to the massing and site tab. We're going to do a topo surface. Okay, it's quite simple. In your two-dimensional floor plan view, just draw yourself a rectangle around it, and you'll see it shows up over here in 3D. Okay, and we already have a ground uh, in place. Okay, if it's not the correct elevation, you're welcome to drag it in one of your side views so it matches up with the bottom of the, of the shed. Okay, so now our shed is truly done. All right. Moving on down to the next part, so our introduction number two, the garage project. Okay, this one you might need to do a little bit of research online, do some searching on Google for like a typical two-car garage, look for its dimensions. Uh, go ahead and, and draw that on your own. Okay, so there's no exact size I'm looking for here. And we'll draw this near the shed project on the same file. Okay, and we have a similar um, requirements list. Um, the only difference here, we need a concrete floor. 
Um, last time we didn't need that. Uh, we've got siding again, but we need a gable roof. That's a two-sided, two-sloping sided roof. Uh, we'll draw that as well. All right. So here we go. So next to the shed, I'm going to draw this garage. Let's do four walls. Okay, I've searched um, for this and I found that we have a 24 foot long garage. Okay, we'll make it nice and, and deep. We'll make it 20 feet deep. So this is a pretty comfortable size garage. You'll probably get two, maybe three vehicles in there uh, with some extra workspace around, around uh, your vehicles. Okay, so 20 feet is what I'm looking for. There we go. All right, so here's my garage. Not real exciting so far. All right, let's start knocking out the, the requirements here. Let's do the floor next. Okay, you know how to do that from the last project. Just simply trace the outside corners. I use the rectangle tool to do that, and I hit the check mark. Okay, and once again, our floor is in the wrong spot, so let's put that up in first floor. There we go. Uh, next up, we can add some garage doors, and in our requirements, we want two garage doors and an entry door. So we have three total doors to do here. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my doors menu, right there, door. Okay, do we have any other doors loaded? Okay, we, we can use a, a basic entry door, maybe on the side. I'll let you decide where you want to put that. Okay, and our garage doors, since we don't have garage doors loaded, you're going to need to go to Insert, Load Family, go into the Doors menu, and the door we're looking for is called an overhead sectional door. Okay, not a rolling door, but an overhead sectional. Okay, bring that in. Okay, right now it's in the list, it's not out here in the, in the project yet. Okay, so we're going to come out. And let's add two garage doors, like so. And if you don't quite get them in the right place, you can always drag them a little bit. So leave some room between them, like that. All right, and let's see. We need to put a roof on next. And we'll put this up in the second floor. So simply clicking on the walls again, it already creates the overhang. I have that set to go for you. Okay, I'm going to click on these, these edges. And I'm going to undefine the slope, or uncheck the box. All right, so it doesn't slope towards the short sides. I want it to slope towards the front and back. Okay, and there's our roof. Okay, we want to attach our walls to the roof, so go ahead and do that step again, like in the last project. Let's see, so we have four walls, we have two garage doors, entry door, we need a concrete floor, we need siding, and we've got the gable roof. So it looks like we've got to get our floor done and our siding all done. Okay, so back to modify, paint. All right, I'm going to do a search for concrete. So we'll pick a concrete floor. Go ahead and do that around the edges. Okay, I'm gonna hide the I'm gonna hide the roof so I can get in there. But to hide it, you go to the sunglasses down here, hide element, 
and you'll see, all right, it is concrete inside there, so that's a good sign. Okay, I'm gonna show the roof again. So I'll reset, there we go. All right, back to paint again. Um, we want roofing. Okay, and I want some siding as well. Okay, do not worry if your colors don't exactly match. Right now we're in a low resolution um, visual setting, so that's not a big deal if that's not the red that I'm actually looking for. It will be correct when we finally render this. Okay, And if you want your fascia, your edges of your roof to look a little more interesting, uh, you can pick a color like, I think white tends to look nice. Uh, let's see, white, is there a white paint? Light yellow, sure. We'll just pick something and go with it. Okay, kind of sharpens up the edges. Okay, you can do that to your shed as well if you didn't before. Okay, and I accidentally change the roof to white paint, so I gotta fix that. There we go. Okay, so so far I've got the garage and the shed done. Okay, you see my ground isn't quite big enough right now, so I'm gonna edit that. So I click on it, edit surface. I'm gonna drag these points out and away. So even though you've drawn something and it's not right, you can easily edit and correct things. So, all right, so far so good. So at this time we're ready to move on down to the cabin project. Okay, this is the final of the three uh, introductory projects on Revit. Okay, I'm gonna draw this one nearby, um, the shed and the garage. Okay, I'm going to move this elevation camera out of the way, so select that and drag it down. Eventually we'll check those out a little bit later. Okay, but here's the basic idea. We'll have a cabin that's a one and a half story cabin with these dormer windows sticking out up above. We're gonna start by drawing the first floor plan, and then we'll add the second floor upstairs, and we'll add the roof and so on uh, later on. Okay, so here we go. All right, I'm gonna draw the outside measurements here, 34 by 26. 34 feet by 26 feet, 34 feet again, and 26 feet. All right, so there's our basic outline that you see over here. Okay, I'm going to continue uh, further into the house and start drawing um, some of the walls, of the inside walls. Okay, you got to start by getting those in the right place and at the right size. So I think the first one I'll do right here, I'll go to near the back door, I'll go 14 feet in, and I'll draw this wall all the way across these doors right here, make one wall. Okay, so I'm gonna get all the walls done, and then I'm gonna come back and add doors and windows uh, next. Okay, so we can start by coming down here to the bottom, work your way up, I'm looking for 14 feet. And will it let me? I gotta zoom in closer to get a better answer here. Okay, if you can't quite get the number you're looking for, just take a guess. Okay, we're gonna move that later since I didn't quite get it right. Okay, if you look over here, let's see, this thing is 14 feet plus three, three, so 17, three is what I'm gonna draw to. 17 feet, three inches. Right there, and I'll come straight down finish that off. So I've got this wall right over here. We're going to add our closets and the pantry next. Alright, this one's 3-3 three, three again, away from here. 
there's three three and all I gotta do is draw until it intersects okay I did not draw this one correctly the first time so let's make it correct it should be 14 feet so I, I'll just click on the wall and there's its measurement 14 feet enter I just moved it so it's as simple as that so these are now all correct let's draw the pantry wall that's shared with the closet that looks like that's four feet away draw that across okay and this one's two feet six inches by five feet okay I'm just gonna guess here because I can't quite get the measurement right five feet over okay and three feet that should be two feet six inches so I'll correct that one there we go all right so I'll come back and add doors a little bit later okay after I get the the other rooms done so I still need to do the bathroom and the kitchen I'm sorry bathroom and the utility uh, room next all right so at the wall this thing is 12 feet over so it looks like I'm gonna have to guess again and it is 5 feet 7 plus 7 feet 0 inches that would be 12 feet 7 inches long okay and then I'm gonna close it off Okay, and this wall right here is 5-7 over. Okay, hard to get those measurements right away too. Okay, but I know that if I take a guess, I can then just draw, or I can edit them later. So this should say 8 feet. And let's see, we need a measurement here. 7-2 should be 7-0 right there Okay, if you need to measure, because you can't tell how far it is. Okay, right now it says 6 feet 9 inches, so it should be 5, 7, so I'm pretty far off on that one. So I'm going to drag this one over. And there's, there's the dimension I'm looking for, 5 feet 3 inches. Right there, and this one should be 7, 0. All right, that looks good. Okay, let's add some doors on next. Doors, we need a, so right now the garage door is still selected, so I gotta go back. Let's get regular in, interior doors. Um, when you're talking about a public room, like a like, uh, kitchen or an area where guests might, might come through, you're gonna use 36 inch doors, but the bathroom, the um, bedrooms, they can all be narrower doors, so we can use 30 or 32 inch doors up to you. So I'll grab this one. So I need that for the bathroom. Okay, my door swing is not swinging to the correct direction. It's swinging to the right. The picture so it shows it swings to the left. So I'm going to hit the space bar right there to change that. Okay, and then I place it in. Here's another one. Hit the space bar there. Okay, this one needs to swing towards the closet. That looks good already. Pantry. This door is a little large, so we might not be able to use that one we might have to change that later and this is the wrong door style for the closet so let's see we might have to look around for those okay a sliding closet door this is a bifold that shows I guess I don't really care if you change that or not but it's a closet door that'll work okay and let's make that a little wider 48 is not very wide there's 60 if you want to go bigger you can go 72 Okay, and change those sizes right there. Okay, so there's a sliding closet door um, for you. Okay, so it looks like our doors are in place. Let's see what's left for doors. Um, we're going to need a back door. 
Eventually we're going to need sliding glass doors out here. It doesn't show it, but they should be there. Okay, so let me get a back door for you. There's a glass door. Let's put that in place. Throw a couple of those in. I might move those around later. It's good for now. And a flush back door. Let's do 36 inches because that's an outside door and you got to move furniture in and out of this. So you want a wider door. Okay, that hallway looks a little tight to me. <laughs> all right. So it looks like we have that all done. And finally, we're, we're going to do our stairs. Okay, you'll see this is an L-shaped stairs that goes up to the upstairs loft. And our stairs are right here. Okay, we're going to do, I believe we're doing a stair by sketch. We'll see how this goes. Okay, I'm going to click where I want to start. I'm going to click the middle of the of the um, landing, then the middle of the landing here where I turn, and we're going to go up. I'll click the middle of it right there. Okay, and it worked. Okay, so the key here, I clicked right there, center of the flat landing, center of the landing going up, and then the center of the top. So those are four clicks to get the centers on place. I'll hit the check mark, and it finishes it off. And let's tile our views. You can see them both. And there is my stairs in place right there. All right, moving on, let's add some floor in. Okay, and I'll do that in 2D view here again. Here's our floor. Okay, I'll hit the check mark there. Okay, I'd like to correct that and get that up to first floor. Okay, and check mark. There it is. That's done. All right, let's move on to our second floor. Okay, I'm going to switch to the second floor plan to do this. So now when I draw in the second floor plan, okay, I'm drawing upstairs. I'm not downstairs anymore. This will be up above. You should see it. Things I do land right here, right above what I just did. Okay, just because I draw it in the second floor plan instead of the first. Okay, we're gonna go check out our directions. Okay, the directions of the second floor. Let's see. Where is the second floor? Here's the second floor right there. Okay, so we need to draw some of these things in, in place. All right, this will probably seem a little strange here as we draw this. We're gonna be drawing right above uh, what we just finished up. So I'm gonna use the wall command, I'll draw. Let's see, I think I'll start right about here. I'm gonna draw this wall in place. I didn't quite hit the target there. I'm going to try that again. I need to be in the center of the wall. Okay, I'm just going to drag that over and correct it because I didn't get it right. There we go. Now it's lined up. All right. Uh, I'm going to draw right above these walls over here. that wall over there. This one goes all the way to the stairs it looks like. OK, 
Okay, and there's my second floor walls. Okay, let's check those out. Okay, they're kind of hovering up there. We still need to put a floor between there. Okay, so let's do that next. Okay, now the floor of the second floor. I'm going to use the line tool. Again, I'm going to draw in the second floor plan. I'm going to trace the first floor. And I missed just a little bit there. That's okay. I'm going to go around the stairs and all the way down. And I'm going to close that off to the starting point. Okay, let me tweak this just a little bit. <clears throat> This line should be even with that wall. This should be even with the top of the stairs. Okay, and I'll hit the check mark. Let's move that up to second floor. And now it fits right into that space. And I'll be drawing the roof next on this project. Uh, eventually we need to get uh, dormers uh, cut into this because we have these walls sticking up and out of, uh, they'll be sticking up and out of the roof. And we'll use this YouTube video over here. I've got two choices of videos you guys can look at uh, to help you out with that step. All right, so I'm gonna draw the, the roof up here in the second floor. Okay, I'm simply going to um, click on the walls so we get this overhanging roof that goes around everything like that and we'll hit the check mark. Yep, and we want to attach the walls. Actually that's a no on that one. We're not going to attach the walls to the roof. All right, we're going to edit the roof a little further because we need this to be a gable. Um, Two-sided roof, so click there. Let's uncheck some things. Uncheck. Right there. And I still don't want to attach the walls. However, there's a few of them that I want to attach by themselves. Like, for example, this end needs to be closed, so I'm going to click on this. Attach, and then hit the roof. There we go. Okay, swing around to the other end. Okay, this wall here does need to attach to the roof. Okay, now. I think I'm going to extend this wall right here all the way out into the corner because you can see it leaves kind of a gap. So I suppose we could have fixed that back in the beginning. When you look at the original directions, I'm going to drag this all the way out to the end. Drag this out. Drag this. And I think I'll drag this one as well. Right there like that. Okay, and we can attach those to the roof so they don't stick through. Okay, so it's under there. Okay, so this just simply builds the wall right up to the roof and it cuts it off. So you got kind of a slanted ceiling under there uh, if you were actually inside the house. <clears throat> Weird, I'm not sure why that's not working. Click that. I think I'm going to redraw that wall. For some reason, that one's not cooperating. Let's 
draw that across. There it is. So this needs to attach to the roof. There we go. All right, so we've got our basic walls and roof uh, in place. There we go. <clears throat> okay, we just have these dormers left over here. Okay, that we have to, to fix up. All right, in the dormers, we're gonna check out the help video. Right down here. So take a moment, click on this video and watch that. And 5D modeling. In this tutorial, to that level, in the options bar. Okay, and then I'll check back in with you. Okay, I'm going to draw the roof now of the, the dormers. Oops. Okay, so at this point it doesn't like it because we don't have uh, a closed loop. Okay, so to fix that I'm going to close this off here at the end. I need to perfect this. This needs to be exactly a closed shape for that to work. Okay, and we'll hit the checkbox like we always do. Somehow it doesn't like my my lines here. Let's see what the problem is. Hmm, they look good. All right, let me try redrawing that again. Roof. Right there. Have some overhang around it. Yes, we want to attach the walls to the roof. Let's see what that looks like. I'm going to raise the roof up to the roof level in this case. There we go. Okay, we need to edit that because <coughs> we don't want slope going back into the house. So we'll uncheck that one. And we'll uncheck it out here too. There we go. Okay, and eventually you'll find out that this peak is a little bit higher than I want it to be compared to the main part of the house. You can always raise that up a little taller. There we go, that looks pretty good for a nice tall log cabin. Okay, we will fix this eventually right here. Okay, let's repeat that for the other side while we're at it. Okay, move the roof up to the roof level. A little higher. Okay, fix your roof. Okay, next up we need to join our roof um, of the dormer to the main part of the house. Okay, so we go to modify, go right up here, look for join. Unjoin roof. Right there, it's that button. Okay, click on the edge you want to join and pick the edge of the roof you want to join it to, and it brings the whole thing right over there. So let's do the same thing for the other side. And I believe that solves that issue. Okay, the last part to making this thing look good here is well, there's a window that needs to be placed.